So, section 2.2, exploring credit card use. What we're going to be talking about is we're going to be talking about um, the pros and cons of credit cards a little bit. We're also going to be talking about how interest is calculated on credit cards, um, how they can they can be really nice and handy uh, for purchases, and, and they're, they're accepted in a lot of different places. But if you don't make your payments, if you miss it by a day, you could really get dinged. You get a lot of interest. It's just kind of the way credit cards work. So... A lot of times they're tied with a promotion of some sort. A lot of times they're, uh, um, you know, there's some other extra kind of benefit from signing up for a credit card. But uh, if used properly, credit cards can be quite handy. You can you can get points for something. Um, my credit card, I, I get uh, some Canadian Tire money. I have a Canadian Tire credit card, and so I when I go to Canadian Tire to buy something for the garage or something for the house, um, there's usually some Canadian Tire money on there. So. It's a discount for me. You may have a credit card where you get points for groceries. Uh, when you buy gas, let's say, you get you know dollars for groceries or something. You may get air miles. You may get all these other sorts of things. So credit cards, there's a lot of entice, um, a lot of ways that they can entice you to use your credit card. And um, But we kind of have to know how they work. So exploring credit card use. Okay, so let's just read this Explore the Math. It says, uh, Jaden... Saw the new sound system he wanted on sale for $2,623.95, including taxes. He wanted to buy it on credit and had two options. To use his bank credit card, which has an interest rate of 14.5%. So notice that we've been talking about percents that are quite a bit lower than this. Credit cards typically have percentages that are up pretty high, usually around the 18 to 20% mark. And it's compounded daily. So you remember how compound interest works? It's compounded daily. So the more often it's compounded, the more interest, right? So this is compounded daily. Because this credit card is new, he has no outstanding balance from the pre previous month. That's good. He could also apply for the store credit card, which offers an immediate rebate of 100 bucks on the price, but has an interest rate of 19.3, so quite a bit more than the other one. And that's also compounded daily. So as with most credit cards, Jaden would not pay any interest if he paid off the balance before the due date on his first statement. So let me stop right there. I use my credit cards for a lot of things, um, payments on a lot of different things because I rack up points for certain stuff. But you have to remember to pay um, before the due date the next month. So there's a bit of a grace period where they don't charge you any interest uh, if you pay it before kind of the month is up, 20 some days. But if you pay it after the month, then they... But if you miss that, if, if, oh yeah, if you miss that date, they take the entire balance for all of the days that have been graced, and then they add that interest on boom. So, you know, an example, I, I used a credit card from, well, a certain store in town, and it was nice and handy, but it was over Christmas, and I went away on holidays and forgot to pay it. I got back, and I realized sort of as the, the month went on, like, oh, wait, I don't think I paid that. And I had, I had a lot of money on there, and so because I missed the date by... Just a number of days, I had all this 20% interest or whatever it was on my balance. So it was a big mistake. It cost me a couple hundred bucks in interest. So, and that's what I was doing in rentals in my house and stuff. So you got to be real careful. They're really nice, but, but you got to be careful. And people that rack up credit card debt, you've heard of that too, right? Big, big trouble because this is compounded daily. It's a very high interest rate. So people that put four or five thousand bucks on a credit card and then all of a sudden lose their job or can't pay it, and that's sitting on a credit card, it becomes a very huge deal pretty quick. So credit cards are kind of tricky. you got to be careful with them. So what else did it say here? Did I read all this yet? Okay, so Jaden could not uh, pay interest. Okay, however, Jaden cannot afford to do this. Both credit cards require a minimum monthly payment of 2.1% on the outstanding balance, but Jaden is confident that he can make regular payments uh, monthly of $110, okay? So, look at all that sound system, okay? Oh, wow. So, which credit card is the better option for Jaden and why? Okay? Now, can we use our TVM solver for this? Probably can. And so, on the calculator, this is what we put in. We put in an uh, interest rate of 14.5%. The present value is the total value of the loan, which is... 26, 23, His payment, he said, was uh, 110 a month, and he wants to pay it all off at future value of zero. 
The payments per year are monthly, so that's 12 per year, but the interest is compounded daily, so 365. So we're going to find out how long it's going to take them to pay it off. So let's do alpha, enter, which is the solve, and I get 28.34. You guys get that? So that's 28.34, 28.4, uh, that would be months, I guess. Okay, double check that in your calculator to see if you get... Okay, so this is what we get. Um, for the bank credit card, bank credit card, all right, let's make that a bit bigger, so 28.34 months, so 28.34 uh, times 110, so how much does he actually, um, how much does he actually pay in there? <coughs> Let's get that. Let's find out. 28.34 times 110 gives us 31.1740. Okay, so that's what he's actually paying. And if we subtracted his original amount there, minus 2023 95 he's paying $493.45 in interest. Four ninety three forty five. Okay, so that's the that's option number one. Okay, so let's go back and let's explore option number two. You guys agree with that? Don't make any mistakes there? All right. So, uh, what's the uh, percent here? Of this second piece, nineteen point three. So if we go back to Right here we have 19.3%. So we're going to compare the store credit card okay, that he could apply for. All right, so let's plug in those values. 19.3%. It's going to be the same present value, you know, same payments, same future value. Uh, is this data the same? Oh. Oh, oh, actually, the store credit card offers an immediate rebate of 100 bucks on the price. So we have to go back up and change this to 25, 23, because all of a sudden it's, a, it's 100 bucks less, right? You get a break because you're using the store credit card. Okay, so that's got to change. Okay, interest rate 19.3 compounded daily. Yeah, payments per year. Okay, does it look good? So let's go to, to um, N there, alpha solve, 28.92, 28.92. So N is 28.92, and all of a sudden you can see if he's still uh, paying 110, okay, 28 is bigger than, or 20.9 is bigger than 20.3, so technically he's going to be paying a little bit more. So just go ahead and complete that. Okay, so yeah, so just remember that this uh, dollar amount is a little bit less here at the store. And so 3181.20, and of course, that's more than he was paying over here. So even with the rebate, what you see is that the higher interest rate, 19.3, really kind of um, kind of dings you there. Okay, so interest is a powerful, powerful thing. Um, and of course, we could find out the, uh, the difference there. So, yeah, with this in-store credit, the $100 rebate looks really good, but I guess the lesson for you guys is make sure that you look at interest rates. When you get that envelope in the mail, you know, with this blah, 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 you know, fancy card and your name is already, you know, in there and it's like you've been pre-approved to spend a million dollars on this card. Good for you. Don't think that that's free money, Okay. Don't think, wow, I'm worth a million bucks now. This is great. I'm going to go out and buy a new TV. Look at the percent because it might be some sky-high percent. It also might say introductory offer of 2.9%. You're thinking, wow, that's way better than uh, than 20%, a lot of cards. It's maybe for the first $100 of purchases or maybe it's for the first two months. And then it bumps up to 22.5%. They don't tell you that. So just look very carefully.